You were so you were so far behind. <laughs> yeah, that's why because it's delayed. That's why I clap and it's perfect for me. <laughs> and like yeah, yeah, of course. In the last day, it's gonna be a, a theme throughout the episodes. We're gonna talk about that we're delayed. Mm-hmm. The clapping it's is delayed every man. single episode. Uh, welcome back to another episode of the Stormcast Christmas um, Edition. Yes, every day until twenty fourth is our last podcast. The last why, why can't Christmas be every day? That's the mm, biggest question. That's the biggest question I was asking every day. Why could it be always holiday? Mm. And the the other question is, do they know it's Christmas time at all? Good do question. they know it's Christmas time? Feed the world. Olsen, you love it. Yes. <laughs> I think that was Band-Aid. I don't mm. remember the year. But uh, uh, Marta, once again, is not with us. Marta, Marta, Marta. Oh. <laughs> you left this is going to be the second time me and Olsen will be alone. Yeah, it's so ever. weird being in the city. It's like we don't like know each other at all. Marta was like the glue who kept us together. We were just like... Mm-hmm. We yes. have no idea what to talk about. Okay, so let's go talking Ooh. about the the yes. U lads. Yes, go on. Marta's favorite segment, the mm. U lads. Marta's favorite segment, the U lads. Yeah, U lads. Okay, today is another tall one. Not as tall as the last one, but mm-hmm. his name is Pottaskevit, uh, <laughs> or in uh, English, pot liquor. Yeah, why do Very they always lick? <laughs> They're like licking stuff. Do you like licking stuff? Oh boy, oh, uh, do I want to oh, know that? Olsen. Olsen, I didn't think you would a- ask. Yikes. Ah, uh, no, no, no comment. Oh, good, good, good. good. <laughs> so, uh, pot liquor. Uh, can you guess what he what he likes to do? Other than the licking pots. <laughs> he likes to lick pots. No. So, the 5th of, of the U lads comes on the night before the 16th of December known to steal leftover from pots so guard your codfish s- soup Luck. I, I don't know why, why we'd have codfish soup oh, sure Luck. but this is this is kind of similar theme to the spoon liquor mm-hmm. likes to steal leftovers and then uh, things that you haven't di- uh, well when you haven't done your dishes yeah they're just cleaning your stuff kind of they're, they're just cleaning it with their with their tongues mm-hmm so it's pretty nice, actually. Yeah. And now for uh, your favorite part of the My part of the show. Already. For the uh, poem. Potaskevit. Mm. Pot scraper here. That's that's actually a better better translation. Scrape me pot scraper. Pot pot scraper. That's mm-hmm. potaskevit. That's actually much better. Pot scraper, the fifth one, was a funny sort of chap. When kids were giving scrappings, he'd come to the door and tap. Ooh. And they would rush to see if there really was a guest. Then he hurried to the pot and had a scrapping fest. Ooh. Scraping fest, I think it was actually. Mm. And had a scraping fest. <laughs> that was very nice. Chap, tap, guest, fest. Mm-hmm. That was pretty good. Good so, round uh, my- it was very good, Reims. Reims. <laughs> R- Reims. Is a Swedish accent, Reims. I, I I don't know how to make do a Swedish accent actually. <laughs> um. So I think this one is kind of like a, I I would rate it like it's, it's a very mediocre Santa. Very mediocre Santa. Uh, we'll, we'll get some more, more unique ones later. Yes, the more fun like ones. He, I think I think this one just he just you know blends in with the crowd. He's doing what everyone else is doing, True. Just, just with a different he's basic beef. He's a basic, uh, yeah. Oh no! Oh, what is it called? What do the young people say now? He's such I have a, no idea. 
Oh, oh, it's like a basic white woman. Oh, Karen. Karen? He's just Karen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's he's pretty pretty basic. He's such a uh, Karen. Stealing those parts. Uh, stealing all those parts and and scraping them for with leftover. His tongue. He's probably a cat tongue. I feel like a lot of them are just trying to get some food. Maybe yeah, maybe Grilla, their mom, isn't feeding them enough. He wants them. She wants them to be skinny. That's why. Yeah, it's probably. Mm-hmm. Well, most of them are skinny except for like Stubby, Stubby, uh, and the sk- third one. And scared come but I cannot tell you more about it. I'm not gonna say well, it in yeah. English. <laughs> Google it, bitch. No, sorry. <laughs> No, just wait for the for the episode when we talk about him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wait. We wait now. Just this podcast will be just us waiting. Two days. Oh, uh, sorry. Spoilers. Ooh. It wasn't even two days. <laughs> You're so thrilled. You already read about it. So, did it, what are you going to talk to us about? Like Today, something from a past uh, episode? Hmm. Yes. Two two days ago, we talked about uh, some of my travels in uh, in uh, France. France, Paris. And we're just gonna continue with the with the chat about about so, travels and so, stuff like that. I have a good question for you. Do you think I have a French look? Like if you look at me now in the web camera. If you, you look at me now in the web camera. Have a, do I have a very French look? No. Because <laughs> people I work with say I do not look Icelandic at all. Well, and you're you're Norwegian, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> and when one is she is French Norwegian. and she was like yeah first when I saw you I thought you were French as well but then you spoke it's because you're <laughs> it's because you're so stylish also just like all the French people no it's because of my moustache that always appears the first and then moustache it appears the it appears uh, after only a couple of hours this was the podcast episode where we got racist <laughs> and then after <laughs> half a day I have a donut Around my mouth. Oh, I haven't eaten donuts for so long. Mm. Oh, I love donuts. I love donuts. Mm. Talking about donuts, mm. we're gonna we're gonna continue on donuts. I love donuts, by the way. Uh, mm-hmm. In in Ireland. Mm, Ireland. Uh, yeah. In Ireland. Uh, I I don't have a good Irish accent actually. I I don't think I have a good French accent, but anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, in Ireland, when I lived there, uh, we would sometimes get donuts at work. Whoa. And these donuts are like, they had like m- many different donut companies, which were like, they're, they're like stalls or they're like, like yeah, just like an ice cream shop. Kind yeah. of. They would have donut shops only doing donuts, donuts all day, every day. Wow. And they, they, they would, they would try to make like, they would have like, I don't know, 40 different types of mm-hmm. donuts. And they would have like themed donuts depending on the season. So when it was Halloween, we got some Halloween donuts. Ooh. And why did you leave that job again? <laughs> I never left the shop. I'm still there. I knew it. You were just leaving Could, couldn't, to us. couldn't fit out the door. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. mm. But donuts, yeah, I don't know. The, the donuts there were like super sweet as well. But what about uh, American donuts? You have been to America. Oh, I've been to America. Oh. I'm I'm gonna I'm just gonna say breakfast in America is the worst breakfast. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> it if is you're eating at a worst. hotel. <laughs> if you're eating at a hotel, the the breakfast is terrible. You either get uh bagels with with okay, so I'll I'll tell you. I was in Washington, Washington mm-hmm. Washington D C mm-hmm. uh and I was at a quite quite cheap hotel there. Uh, not not very expensive at least mm-hmm. uh, and uh, the breakfast there was different types of donuts Ooh, yummy uh, you could also get bagels mm. and uh, you could you, you only had some uh, plastic cutlery so of you would course have like a and very plastic much friendly. knife and, <laughs> and you try to cut them and you would also get like uh, uh, paper plates mm. Uh and uh, you would get the bagel, oh. and you would have a cho- you you can choose between, uh, or you had three things that you can have with it: uh, cream cheese, uh-huh. uh, and uh, strawberry jam, and some other type of jam. 
classic. That's all. Yeah. Fuck. And uh, so, so everyone was kind of expected to just grab a bagel, a leaf, grab some cream cheese and a and some jam. Do that, you know, on your paper paper plate with your with your kind of very small uh, plastic cutler. You try to cut through the bagel and and try to spread everything on and then eat it. And then you like there were like eight different types of donuts that you could choose from and then some uh, like cupcakes as well oh, You're like how pipes. much how much sugar are you s- telling me i should eat they want you to become american be fat. so I, I would usually have like I, I actually had like one donut a day there <laughs> which is like <laughs> it was just like i'll i'll try all the types of donuts <laughs> i will taste the rainbow <laughs> So what, then, was you staying at a chain hotel or just a random hotel there? Uh, it was kind of a random okay, hotel. Okay. Uh, maybe it was like a small chain mm-hmm. in the USA, but it wasn't an international chain at least. And uh, I, I would you, you could also get eggs, mm-hmm. boiled eggs. Yes. With some salt. Classic. That's a delicacy. That's it's very nice. Was it hard boiled and it's still in its uh, hard boiled? I don't think it was in its shell oh. actually. I think they deshelled it. Maybe I'm wrong because I had never ate egg there. Yeah. Uh, but of course you didn't get a spoon. No, of course not. That's madness. Why spend on a spoon? <laughs> so you, I think I think what you did was you had some you had some uh, salt, put it on your plate, and then had your had your hard boiled egg in your hand. And then kind of dipped it in the Dip salt it. and then took a bite. Hawk. And then dip it again and take Eww. a bite. Eww. And the last thing they had, the last thing they had was, I think, one type of cereal. May- maybe two, but they were really sugary as well. Yes. And then some sort of milk Classic. that you can pour on it. It was in tiny boxes just for you, like one portion per person. <gasps> for the milk? No, the... the, the uh, no, 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 oh, no, no, no. The, the cereal. Yeah. No, it was not in tiny boxes for yourself. Oh, so sad. You, you, it was in like a uh, kind of this machine where you would have to turn it and you get like small, mm-hmm. small, uh, like a tiny bit of cereal every time you turn it. So you're like there turning it for like a minute to get enough cereal and then you go and uh, take the take the milk and yeah. you do, like pour the milk through like some stuff and it because the cereal is all there, splashes all around. Uh, and and uh, well, we we probably had spoons. I, I would guess since we had cereal. Yeah, probably that would be weird. <laughs> I'm gonna guess we had spoons. You maybe only got the spoons if you got cereal. Then it would be like, yeah, here's a spoon for you, Might sir. Be. And then then we went on to other places in America. But then uh, we we got to know the the uh, breakfast uh, burrito. Not a burrito, the breakfast kind of burger. Not really <sighs> a burger. Mm, from McDonald's. Uh, well, hotels the, would also have this. Yeah, the egg, like like egg patty. You have like an egg, yeah an egg patty and like oh. a sausage a sausage oh. patty, oh. and with a kind of a what's it called? Uh, um, uh, a. Uh, I it's mean, kind of a sh- sugary thingy. bread kind of thing. Yeah, that they always eat with everything in America. Scones. Like American scones. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and, the, and you would have you would have it like uh, like kind of a burger. You mm-hmm. would have the scones, and then the 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 patty, the uh, sausage patty, and the eggs, and the top, and then you would have gravy, as well. Mm-hmm. And you could like pour it on top, and I'm like, why are we eating this for breakfast? True, true, true. Oh, wow. I need to remember what the bread is called. Oh, it's always with gravy. I thought it would be good. It was <laughs> terrible when I tried it when I was in America. I was like, what? It, everybody's yeah. talking about it. No, but food in America was, or, or at least breakfast in America, so was big. huge, huge letdown. And, and it's just and it's it's terrible, very, very sugary. And it's just off. Oh, Did you go to the movie theater there? I did not. Oh, you should have gone and asked for a small Coke and small popcorn. You get it as a big size where you get everywhere else <laughs> in the world. It was huge. <laughs> and I, when I did it, I was like, I got it and I was like, no, no, I asked for small. Yes, this is small. I was like, what is large then? And she was like, pointing to the person, 
this and it was like this back and I was like and so yeah I, just, I and my, a gallon of soda my cup was one liter of soda I had one liter of soda I've never had that's so a lot that's a lot <laughs> that is a huge amount yeah uh, Americans are crazy but yeah the muffin with the the sausage between I had it in Japan like because they have like breakfast menu in McDonald's yeah it's called it's called the McMuffin in yeah in McDonald's yeah right? and we went we're super early so that we did not realize that they changed the menu during the day breakfast is only yeah. available and you cannot have anything else there yeah so I decided I can have muffins. everybody's talking about it. let's have it and I took a bite threw it away it was the it was too much <laughs> it was too much it's just oh it was yeah. so fat Big Mac once, is good Ugh. yeah uh, Big Mac is fine yeah, so well, once we went somewhere else for breakfast because we, we were like oh no mm-hmm. we're not mm-hmm. going to the breakfast there again uh, well I, I think it may be, maybe it was that breakfast wasn't included and we were like we're not going to go to the same thing we're going to go to uh, what's it called uh, Wendy's not Wendy's Denny's. Uh, no 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 Pancake uh, House. Pa- Pancake House. I hop. I hop. Yeah. House oh of no, why did we go there? <laughs> I think so we went fun. to I hop. It's even more fatty. And then they had like a s- very large selection of uh, mm-hmm. of uh, pancakes or, yeah, of different kinds of pancakes. And it was it was Halloween when we were there. So there was, or, or close to Halloween. So they had like Halloween themed uh, pancakes as well. I did not get one of those good boy uh, but I got like a stack of four pancakes it was way too much way too much yeah but it was it was still much better than it was it was very good it's very fatty of course of course but it was it was much better than the food you would get at the hotels so oh, much better oh, yeah a- anything's better than that um yeah yeah I, I think the hmm? The best food I actually got in in the U.S. was a in, in Las Vegas. Oh, uh, in the Sin like City. <laughs> kind of outside of it. Uh, mm. It was not a strip strip club buffet. I did not go to one of those. Oh, so you didn't stay at, in the main hub of Las Vegas. You stayed like in the outskirts of Las Vegas. No, no, no. I, uh, we stayed in uh, what's it called, Excalibur. Ah, oh, you stayed in the in castle. The castle. In the castle. Oh, nice. Very nice. I want to stay in the pyramid. That's where I want to stay. Uh, What's the pyramid called again? Uh, 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 You said the Excalibur. I I should know it. Sphinx or something like that. No. Is is this called the pyramid, I think? No, Luxor. Luxor Hotel. Luxor Hotel. Luxor Luxor. Luxor Hotel. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I stayed at Bally's Hotel when I was there. One of the OG hotels in Las Vegas. OG? Next to the yeah. French hotel, you just walked through the house and you went to Paris, and I went to the Eiffel Tower there. Yeah, did you? Yeah, did you go to the Eiffel Tower? Of course, and I also went to New York, New York, and went to the roller coaster. Did you? Did you ride the roller coaster? Yes, and I also went to the stratosphere, the the high thing, and did the attractions were like falling off the house, like oh, you're falling off. No, <laughs> you're not. Okay, I I went to the Eiffel Tower. Mm-hmm. Uh, like it was okay. Uh, we mainly w- went there to see the the water show oh, I, did, the, uh, I only did it because Eiffel Tower I've been to France I have to do this one yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. a thing well that that one is only half the size though yeah so <laughs> it's I like a, mi- a mini Eiffel Tower true did, did have you gone to the Eiffel Tower in uh, in uh, Tokyo yes we went so to the we to up here to tour Ooh, so you've been in uh, France or oui. in, in yeah. Paris and mm. in uh, Tokyo Yes. And uh, also in uh, Las Vegas. Yes. I'm a Eiffel Tower and Disney lover. <laughs> oh yes, only things he's ever loved. True. <laughs> Not him <even> myself. <gasps> oh. So as I was saying, best food I ever got uh, during that U.S. trip was in Las Vegas. The last day in Las Vegas, we went huh? to like a, an I think it was an Indian restaurant, mm-hmm. and uh, it was quite big. And it was completely empty. Oh. And we're like, well, we, we drove here. Let's go inside. Okay. We're like pretty hungry. I was like, well, we'll go there anyway. And like usually when I go to Indian places, there's like, it's usually good, but there are things with every dish that is like, ah, it's, uh, 
there's some spice there that's like a bit off or something and you're like ah. yeah but that one everything was super delicious what? Like every, every single thing the, the non bread the like Papa Don I think also is very delicious and the and both the dishes we had were like super good nice that's very good so we we gave a very generous tip there Oof. don't remember how much it was but it was it was more generous than we we usually did the boy loves to tip no <laughs> oh I, I hate tipping it's the worst part but speaking about America you went also to China didn't you yes that, that was very good segment also. Mm-hmm. thank speaking you I'm of America, of you've also been to, China. to the other side of the globe <laughs> score <laughs> I have been to China. Mm-hmm. Which you, you, you have also been to China, right? Hmm, what do you say? You have also been to China, right? Multiple times. Multiple times. Olsen is a globe trotter. I'm an Asian trotter. <laughs> well, as, as some people might not know, Olsen is fluent in uh, Mandarin. In, yes, 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 of course I am. Olsen, please uh, tell us something in uh, Mandarin. 你叫什么名字？我是冰岛人。你是哪国人？我是美国人。嗯哼。Thank mm-hmm. you, Olsen. Thank I you. said that so many lovely. things. I was not asking random <laughs> questions to you. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does Goren mean? Uh, it's like your nationality, Bingdaren or Maygoren. It's Maygoren is American and Bingdaren is ah. Icelandic. Oh. Uh-huh. So the the going is, is German. The. So everyone that's uh, that's that doubted me mm-hmm. saying that Olsen was uh, fluent in Mandarin, <laughs> T- take that. In, yes, yes, I'm. I'm he, he fluent can keep in simple own. Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's fluent in simple Chinese. Well, that's all we that's all we ever need, right? True. That's true. Did you go there on a group tour? Did you go? I I did I did go on a group tour. How, so how one was of the, that? Must one be of very the few protected. times. One of the few times I've actually gone on a group tour. Uh, usually we just travel and then do stuff. But mm-hmm. then we were like, oh, we'll, we'll go on a group tour. Were you uh, the youngest people? Yes. Yes. We were, <laughs> of course. We were like, I don't know, 20, 21, 22, something, 22 probably. Mm-hmm. And the, the, like, there were people there that were like 50, 60. They could uh, be your grandparents. But there, 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 were, there were couples there that were like, 30 35 they could be so it wasn't no it wasn't terrible <laughs> <laughs> no no um uh, so it was it was actually pretty nice we had a chinese tour guide mm-hmm. uh, and uh, he actually spoke swedish oh so that was that was very nice so and, he understood uh, everything you said behind him no he he, he talked he, he talked to us in swedish and he explained everything in swedish and we felt he was very open about everything about like how the politics were there in, in China and stuff like that, mm-hmm. which maybe we wouldn't have gotten if he were English speaking. I don't know. Uh, he was at least very open and nice. I uh, really liked him. And uh, we had some group tours. Uh, so some of them, of course, were like, oh, we're taking you to this place. But on the way, we go to this place where you can buy some stuff. <laughs> uh, but it was only like two or three things, uh-huh. uh, and I, I don't think we bought anything. Uh, of course, uh, we are also like uh, from from Scandinavia. We don't know how to bargain. Uh, this is a, a common thing uh, uh, for for Scandinavian people. They have no idea how to bargain. But uh, they were like, "Oh, there's also this uh, mall that's here, which has lower prices." Kind of su- su- more suitable for for uh, uh, Scandinavians because well they have like Scandinavian prices. Mm-hmm. It's not it's not like it's not like the starting prices of other places where you would be expected to bargain to like thirty percent or something like that. Yeah, but it's still quite expensive. <laughs> like it's like more than you would have to pay, but uh, things that Scandinavian people are happy to pay. Yeah. So we we bought a couple of a couple of things there, uh, but otherwise we didn't buy much. Yeah, I only I haggled once there, and I was like, not and uh, not again. It was it was it was intense. <laughs> when when Marta when Marta is here, we can talk about our trip to uh, Egypt mm-hmm. in uh, two thousand seven. Egypt, yeah. Uh, where we bought lots of stuff. We had no idea how to bargain, 
so we just you know we just paid oh hi buddy at least jack didn't shine out just because we started to bargain and i was like i cannot start now it's too fun and like he was like oh this <laughs> price officer this price you're insulting my family and i was like i go away now and he's like no 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 this price i was like that is even worse price uh, my grandma is spinning <laughs> in his grave and i was like ah <laughs> and i got it well, it's i got it for 60 percent less and i was like and why did I buy it again? <laughs> it was like yeah, yeah. If you if you start bargaining, you're you've kind of committed yourself, and you're <laughs> like, oh, I've gotten them down this much, and and they're they're there. Even if you go, they're gonna like you, you've said like twenty percent of the price or something yeah. like that. They're gonna sell it to you for twenty percent of the price. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They've already locked you in. And then if you're just like, no, no, I I don't want it anymore. But then it's like, why 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 don't you want it anymore? You wanted it for twenty percent. What are you know mm-hmm. just? <laughs> it's. Uh, once you've started, there's no going back. True. Or you're disrespecting them, of course. Uh-huh. In, in Egypt, yeah. in Egypt, it was it was usually they would like buy you for a, a tea or something, buy you into their shop for tea. Yeah. And then they would uh, kind of, yeah, talk to them and then try to they would try to give you some prices. And they would always, every single time, they would say special price only for you, my friend. <laughs> yes. So I so often said that. This is this is kind of this has been like a running joke in my family, for like, a- ever since we went there. It's like oh, special price only for you, my friend. <laughs> every every single person that was trying to sell us something said that exact line. And you were like, I am your friend. I take it. I- I've also heard that like bargaining in Egypt can take multiple days. Yeah. Uh, where you go for tea and then you come back the day after and, and drink some tea and bargain more and. And it's just, uh, what? I just uh, ain't nobody got time for that. I just don't understand. Just, just have the price. Why are you making more an issue like buying stuff? Just put a I, price that is fair. No, it's we're all happy. It, it's a cultural difference. I know. It's definitely a cultural difference, and this is part of their culture. But I, like, from from our perspective, it, it looks like they're trying to rip you off. Same as tipping. Mm yeah yeah tipping is is also like from our perspective where we never tip there's like no tipping in iceland no tipping at all it's kind of naming countries no tipping okay well in norway they're like you can't tip like here's the price put the card in write the price again you can add a tip if you want because then we don't yeah. need to pay the staff more <laughs> yeah uh but this is like nobody does Scan- it yeah. scandinavian no, yeah, we feel perfectly fine not tipping. Uh, also, because you know we we pay, we pay our staff. Y- yes, that's the kind of the answer. <laughs> we pay our staff well, and the also like the food is just going to be a bit more expensive, of course. Because why do you go to a restaurant where you have to pay the people who did the food for you extra money for the food that you were given? You should. It should give them the price. Why are you like paying? Like, why do you want? Like, oh, I'll pay you more, and then I get better service from you. You should always give a good service. Yeah, I I don't like, I don't like tipping and the tipping culture. Mm-hmm. That's our uh, hot take. Well, it, it's mostly because we're not used to it. True. I would say. True. Uh, but this is we just like to have a price. We see the price. Okay, this is what I'm gonna pay. You know what you're gonna pay. Yeah, taxes are okay if they're excluded. That's okay. I'm okay with that. No, no. Taxes also have to be included. No, I'm used to because I've been also so many times in Japan, and I'm just used to this tax not being gone, and I no, calculate immediately like, oh, this is the price. Okay. No, no, but <laughs> it's not. It's not that easy in the U.S. I know. The U.S. is different, difficult. I know that. There are different uh, tax brackets. For different things yeah and they're completely different depending on what state you're in true so moving just you know slightly further south or something well now you now you know i have no idea what you're supposed to calculate and also you can't really calculate this in your mind they're like okay for these items i have seven percent so i'm gonna add this and for these items i just want the exact amount that i know mm-hmm. but american being weird yeah we're just ranting we're like ah oh, america bad what more tipping bad what more is bad in the world Let, let's talk more about china okay let's talk more about china uh i use the subway in china quite a lot 
Did you eat the subway efficient. or use the subway? No, I used the subway. Yeah, okay, I was like, oh, yeah, I was like, okay, you ate the subway. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I used the subway, mm-hmm. the subway system in Beijing. Yeah, which was very nice, and I think it was like more than a million people use it every day to mm-hmm. get to work, and it was very efficient. Like getting in, people would squeeze in. Okay, it was it was like tight, but it wasn't super tight, mm-hmm. and then it would go and get out. Like super nice, and I think I saw like. Two other people that weren't Chinese, <laughs> in all my subway trips. Hmm. Yeah, but it was I, pretty good. I always take the local transportation of the country I'm in. Yes, uh, I am Olsen. I'm, I'm I always use the cheapest, cheapest option, of and course. I take the local transportation. I take the night buses uh, to get between places. No, oh, no. Uh, I've and then I sleep. I last. sleep on the night, or I, I try to sleep on the night buses, but I can't. And then I have a terrible day. Oh, yeah, you went to Vietnam also. I have also been to Vietnam. We'll we'll do that another yeah. time. But did you take a night bus there? Just a question. No, no, no. I, and I did not go to Crazy House or whatever it was. Night buses. That was the oh, I could not do it again. <laughs> <laughs> it was ridiculous that we did it. Uh, just to save money. So in in China, in in Beijing, mm-hmm. there was also uh, they had recently had their Olympic. Uh, I, I don't know. Oli- uh, the, the Olympic Olympics games. were held there. <laughs> yeah. Olympic Games, yeah. <laughs> so I went, of course, to see the Olympic uh, village, as it was called. It was kind of deserted because it's still you know, deserted. Uh, People are still like, well, oh, go to a trip to the Olympic village. And you're like, okay, there's yay. yeah, you go there. I think the like swimming hall is still being used yeah. a bit, but otherwise things, you know, this is I think this is quite usual for people af- or places after they've had the Olympic Games there. True. The Olympic Village just gets deserted because yeah. you have nothing to do with Spend an Olympic-sized money. swimming pool, an Olympic-sized whatever. You know, it's, not, it's just not enough use. Yeah, it's just but wasteful to do this stuff. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I have more stuff on China, but <laughs> we we should probably be wrapping it up. Oh, it looks like I'm naked on cam, but I am. Oh, you aren't naked. Oh, that's what I thought. I will do the helicopter for you. Oh, very nice, very nice. It's hitting me. (laughs) Oh, I I heard that. (laughs) Don't believe anything he says. Wow, I'm listeners. You and I'm just gonna tell you now. That's fine. He is wearing he is wearing underpants. I'm wearing just shorts. I'm being cozy. He's wearing shorts. That's all he's wearing. I'm always more casual when I. Okay, thank you guys for listening. Bye, Renee. We'll see you again next Ciao. time. Bye, bye. Bye, guys. Ha, ha. <laughs> Four. The one with the wrong story. Previously on Brave Diddy. Diddy had always hated the dirty restaurant, with its tasty but nasty-looking food. It was a place where he felt confused. He was a brave, understanding tea drinker with a charming chest and dirty eyebrows. His friends saw him as a glorious grim gamer. Once he had even brought Marta back from the brink of death. That's the sort of man he was. Diddy walked over to the window and reflected on his cozy surroundings. The storm teased like chatting dogs. Then he saw something in the distance, or rather someone. It was the figure of Olsen. Olsen was a greedy author with a beautiful chest and curvy eyebrows. Diddy gulped. He was not prepared for Olsen. As Diddy stepped outside and Olsen came closer, he could see his dirt, uh, dusty smile. He could see the dusty smile on his face. Olsen gazed with the affection of 4001 charming repulsive rats. He said in hushed tones, I know you, I want the truth. Diddy looked back, even more worried and still holding the cup of tea. Olsen, I didn't kill her, he replied. They looked at each other with stressed feelings, like two dripping damaged donkeys running at a very funny dinner party which had EDM music playing in the background and two intelligent uncles thinking to the beat. Diddy studied Olsen's beautiful chest 
and curvy eyebrows. Eventually, he took a deep breath. I'm sorry, began Diddy in apologetic tone. But I, I don't feel the same way. And I never will. I just don't love you, Olsen. Olsen looked delighted. His emotions raw, like a broken, brave banana. Diddy could hear Olsen's emotions shatter into 1,184 pieces. Then the greedy author hurried away in the distance. Not even a cup of tea could calm Diddy's nerves tonight. What will happen next? Will we learn why Martha was on the brink of death and why this is not the correct story? Stay tuned in the next episode of 12 Days of Slaying.